it's Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. This is an eight board tournament using the Funbridge program. So if you haven't downloaded Funbridge, you need to do that first. And then I'll show you how to jump straight into it. So once you've downloaded Funbridge, all you have to do is click get started slash practice, exclusive tournaments. And if you've played it before, it'll pop up there. Otherwise view all tournaments and just search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands. Let's give it a go. And Currently winning is Goma Pyle with 85.89%, Shaman with 84.36%, and in the peak of the moment, 79.38%, rounding out the top three. They are some seriously high scores. I've got a couple of more 70% uh, makers, uh, Gabley, Shostrock, and Mike Bayer, all cracking 70%. So that was a fantastic effort by them. And we'll just scan through and see who made uh, the uh, top, well, uh, above 50%. We've had 146 people playing it. We've got Milan Makura playing it. He also does fantastic videos. You should check them out. Maybe play his tournament if you haven't. 63% there. Who dealt this rubbish? Who else do we have playing? Must beat Pete's Meat, 59%. So anytime you see scores that are really, really high up, it means that the scores that there will be a lot of people uh, uh, struggling down the bottom. But uh, storming up the field, fifty-six percent. Only six boards played. But they're doing well so far. Must beat Pete, fifty-five percent. Can't compete with Pete, fifty-three percent. Uh, sexy vampire cracked over the uh, fifty percent marker. And Elmos, uh, the last player cracking 50% at this stage. Anyway, uh, let's jump in and see how we go. Alright, so we've got a flat 16 count, 3, 2, 4, 4. So pass, pass to me. Looks like a 1 no trump opening. 2 no from partner. An invitational hand. Uh, exactly 8 points. Uh, well, I've got a decent 16 count. So, at, at imps, I would definitely accept this. I think still think it's right uh, to accept anyway. So, we'll, we'll go. I've got a nice 16. i got some intermediates, couple of nines. All my points are together. So, it looks like a useful hand. My partner, I, like, I really, really wouldn't uh, invite with this hand. Like, this is just a garbage, well, like a 4, 3, 3, 8 count. Most eight counts I don't invite with just good eight counts I'd tend to. Um, at any rate, we've got three spades, two clubs is five, two diamonds is seven. Uh, so um, I could set up one extra club if they're three, two, uh, but the opponents can always take four, at least four hearts plus that one club. So I need to get nine tricks without uh, losing any so I've got three spades and two clubs I need to get all the diamonds so I could hope for say doubleton queen tenor diamonds or I could hope that or like if west has singleton queen of diamonds that would be okay or I could hope that uh, east has like queen ten third diamond now that seems the most promising there so I think I want to win and just lead the jack of diamonds and then lead a diamond towards the nine. Um, West is kind of likely to continue attacking spades. Uh, it's hard for them to realize to switch to hearts. They could do something like win the ace of spades and then play like a club to the nine. Um, but that gives up my legitimate chance, but uh, sort of falls in on West not knowing what to do and then hopefully ducking um, hopefully uh, just continuing spades. That, that seems like a poor choice, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. And I've only got two entries with the Ace of Spades and King of Clubs. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. Notice here that even two no trumps is in danger. That's got two diamonds, two clubs, and three spades. If hearts don't break, you've got uh, some issues there. So we'll lead the Jack of Diamonds. It wasn't covered, so it looks like it's offside. And they switch to a club. All right, so now I've got a backup chance that if they still don't switch to hearts, I might be able to make here. Yes! <laughs> so if clubs are 3-2, I'm now back in business. 
Um, it, it was like a super greedy play, especially at match points, but it's still really hard for West to switch to hearts by doing that. Um, so here we want to cash the diamonds. Got a spade discard there. So it was doubleton queen of diamonds. So ace king of diamonds, diamond to the jack. I uh, would pick that up. Alright. And I didn't pay attention to see if East put in the 10 or jack of clubs, but I don't think they did. So we'll catch a couple of spades. And I think I just want to hope that clubs are 3 2. Yeah, and they are. So making three no trumps. So that was a bit fortunate there. West started, they had Queen Jack 10 of clubs. They didn't uh, lead that initially. They started with their uh, spade lead. So what was their hand and what did that, why did they choose to do that? So 86%, 26 people made it. A bunch of people going down in two no, uh, in three no trumps. Lots of people making uh, in two no trump. Uh, so they did have five spades there. All right. So let's check out the comments on this deal. I'm not a fan in, of inviting with flat eight counts. Partner is twice as likely to have 15 than 17. The defense algorithm needs some work as well. Totally agree. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I think that that eight count definitely not worth uh, doing it. So... Uh, yeah, anyway, good start. 86%. I'm in equal first. Let's move on to board number two. Okay, and we got a 12 count, 2, 4, 2, 5. So I'll start with one club. One spade, three no trumps. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I thought that was an alert because it said, like, I just saw the stop sign and I was like, what? what? I was like, what's the meaning of three no trumps if not just to play? But no, uh, it was just to play. Just. Uh, the stop card was out. Anyway, uh, here we have five clubs. A spade is six. Uh, a diamond is seven. A heart is eight. So we need to get an extra one. We get the four of spades lead. Okay. So where are our potential extra tricks? So... Uh, we've got 12 points there and 13 here, which is 25. So. All right. I think I want to try and end play my right-hand opponent into leading a red suit. Although it looks like my left-hand opponent's got the queen. Like, Does West have queen third spade? And my right hand opponent has ace jack third. Like, spades might just be blocked at this stage. Okay. That looks. Alright, I have an extra winner there. Um, yeah. That, that was not the uh, best defense I've seen so far. Alright. So, West was trying to untangle that. So, it looks like I want to. Uh, sorry, my right hand opponent led the jack hoping like maybe maybe their partner had the the nine and not the queen and then you can't run it to the ten. West overtook because it looks like uh, spades are blocked. So I understand why they did it, but not the best defense. So I can run five rounds of clubs and play a low heart or I could play a club to the king and then a low heart. Uh, so do I want to like the entries to the north hand are kind of limited so is it better to run the five rounds of clubs and then a low heart or is it better to play like a club over low heart or do I just want to try like a heart to the nine or something weird like that straight away I think I want to uh, at least cross over um, I, I don't don't want to do the heart to the nine ploy so I could also play my right hand opponent to have like 10 doubleton or jack doubleton heart and lead like the nine of hearts, which they'd have to cover. 
I can start with the eight of hearts or nine of hearts. I don't think I'd actually do that sort of play, but uh, um, all right. So would my right hand opponent hop up with the king of hearts if they had it? So I could play for my right hand opponent to have 10 doubleton or jack doubleton. Uh, would they play the king of hearts when I lead low? I think a lot of the time they would. Um, not all of the time. If they had king doubleton, they definitely would. So do they have like king third? They've got a singleton or doubleton club and um, five spades. And my left hand opponent has a singleton or doubleton club and three spades. There's lots of diamonds out there, so I think maybe my right hand opponent's got like four, four diamonds, five spades, one club, and three hearts, something like that. I'll go for it. I'll, I'll try and get a good score. <laughs> okay, so at this stage, we will let the diamond go. And I, I could have let the club go, actually. Jack of hearts. Right. Not what I was expecting. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> do, do I want to take a finesse here? So I think I do. I think I want to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my left hand opponent hasn't pitched any hearts, so that hearts. Uh, not a winner. Not sure if I could have even made an extra one after I got the hearts right. Anyway, it got 97% taking the intra finesse. It's a really cool heart position, but not uh, one that's uh, usually percentage to take, but... I just felt like my right hand opponent would have hopped up with the king most of the time. Decision at trick one, deciding whether to duck the spade leader, risking ace of spades on your left, or even a diamond switch, but it does rectify the count for a later squeeze on the runner clubs. Righty has one less idle club. Yeah, so I had the same as storming up the field, so uh, lots of different plays like uh, there. Um, so if they did, uh, like my, when they won the ace of spades, I was thinking of taking the second one, not ducking it and then having it so I could exit a spade. I'm not sure if I would have done that, but that would have been my, uh, potential, uh, choice there. Theranaby one, two, three. I'm not sure like, uh, where the spaces in your name is, but it says looking like your first fun bridge win possibly. I think I might have won one before, um, so this might be my second, but this is only two boards in. Uh, way too early to actually say that, so a long way to go. Uh, but we're well poised, currently running at 91%, and having to score 85%, which lots of people did, well, what? not lots of people, which was done, I think that's a hard marker to uh, keep up with. But I will certainly try my best there. Um, now, question. Do they play two spades as extras? And they do. Um, so, I have to work out what my catch-all bid is. So, two diamonds is an unbalanced hand. And two no trumps is 12 to 15 points with a balanced hand or singleton in clubs. That seems a good description of my hand. Two no. All right. So uh, it's the Ranabi. Don't worry about pronunciation. Everyone gets it wrong. All right. 
Okay, uh, so here we get the five of hearts lead, and we have three spade winners, two heart winners is five, a club is six, a diamond is seven. I might be able to get an extra trick in spades. If they keep attacking hearts, that might be okay. Uh, diamonds is a really interesting position. Clubs is an interesting position. I got ace, nine, doubles, and diamond. Okay. So, diamonds in general look like a decent prospect to attack. Uh, clubs, not so much. I want my left-hand opponent to have to, like, win and continue hearts. Um, I could play my right-hand opponent to have, like, jack, nine, th third heart, or something like that, and my ten might get a stopper as well. Okay. Uh, I could try and play a diamond towards the nine. i trying to work out when that actually works. So that would work if my left-hand opponent had jack ten of diamonds, or if my left-hand opponent had doubleton king. Uh, diamond to the ace, diamond back will work whenever my right-hand opponent has king third diamond. So I think this is somewhat close in the percentages, but I don't actually know off the top of my head. Like My, my gut was just like, win the ace of diamonds and play a diamond back. Um, but I think this is an interesting position. So how often does my left-hand, like if my left-hand opponent's got jack ten third, uh, or jack ten fourth, sticking in the nine of diamonds is what I have to do. Um, in essence, in general, I think I want to lose to my left hand opponent, so I think winning the ace of diamonds and playing a diamond back is best. So I'll do that. But this is one that I want to look at. Just double check that it's not diamond towards the nine. So I could put the queen up here. Um, Uh, so the, putting the queen up loses when West has doubleton king. Uh, if diamonds are 3-3, three, three, it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, so putting the queen up picks up king third with east, loses to doubleton king with West. So I'll put the queen up. I don't think east would ever hop with king third there, but they might to lead a diamond through, but a uh, heart through. All right. And we see the eight, the... Ten of diamonds. So we'll now play the eight of diamonds, see if they break three, three. They don't. Five of clubs discard. Ooh, the heart discard, okay. Okay, I wanna play east two. Uh, so there was the five of hearts and then the three of hearts. So they've either led from uh, five hearts, in which case it doesn't matter what I do. Or they've led from, like, three hearts, and the only... They might have nine... Nine, five, three. Um, so if I've got nine, five, three, then I want to... Uh, try the ten. From queen, five, three, they wouldn't do that. So we'll try the ten, but I think they've led from a five-card suit. Okay, so they discarded one heart and one club. Uh, so my diamond's a winner. Do I want to play ace of spade, spade, or just spade up? I think ace of spade, spade is okay. So we'll see what's going on here. Ten. Okay, so does West have Jack Ten Third Spade, or do they have uh, get a club? All right. So if West has a Doubleton Spade, they would have five Hearts, two Diamonds, two Spades, and four Clubs. Uh, I thought maybe they would have been a 5-5, five, five, but I'd miscounted there. Alright, and... Uh, they still have... 
They've still got three... No, two hearts. Because they discarded one. So I've still got two hearts and something else. So... King of Clubs. They wouldn't have discarded down to Singleton King of Clubs. So they probably would have kept King Doubleton Club. So they have two hearts and two clubs. So I think the spade is now uh, four with these. So I do think that they're the uh, two, five, two, four. So we'll finesse. Okay. Did I get their hand shape right? 71%. So it made the 10 tricks. Yeah, 2, 5, 2, 4. So here the important thing, keeping down counter the hearts. Um, they led the 5, then I saw the 3 go. So I knew hearts were 5, 2. Uh, in clubs, just discarding. People don't discard down to singleton kings very often. So I knew they had 2 hearts left over and another club, which meant that I could finesse. Uh, other people would probably mention restricted choice, which is another valid thing that when West has the plays the 10, if they had Jack 10 third, they might have played the Jack, they might have played the 10, which means it's more likely that you should finesse. Um, so that's a backup thing to actually consider there. But 71%. Two comments on this one. Let's see what people said. After heart lead to the Jack and King, followed by a diamond to the Ace, diamond to the Queen and Diamond. East graciously cashed the King of Diamonds and now played a heart, allowing Declarer to squeeze West in hearts and clubs for 11 tricks. Uh, did I miss that opportunity? Ah, uh, they got King Jack. So if I saved my Ace of Clubs entry, so win, King of Spades, Spade to the Ace, Spade finesse. So if I commit to that sort of line and then run all my winners, I do actually squeeze West in hearts and clubs. So I missed opportunity there for 11. So that, that's a neat play. I wasn't considering the squeeze there because I was mainly trying to work out whether I f try and pick up the spades or not. Um, so I tried to get count on the hand. Um, but West ha having Soul Guard of the Hearts and King Jack of Clubs meant that 11 tricks was the option there. Um, so how many people made 11 tricks? Eight people made 11 tricks for 90... No. 21 people made 11 tricks. So well done to anyone that found that line. That's, that's really cool. Uh, we'll move on to board number four. And here we've got 10, 18 highs, one heart past two hearts. Uh, I don't have length in clubs, but there's just a takeout double for starters. Three clubs, three hearts. So I could potentially make another takeout double. It says I don't really have a fit for you and I don't know where to go. So that's between 11 and 25 points, but I really can't imagine an 11 count that would double again. But... I think I'm happy to uh, still go. Okay, my partner really, really likes clubs. So, I, and they've just got some garbage hand. So, we'll, we'll, we'll settle there. Okay. I've got three points. And... I've got a heart loser, two spade losers, and a club loser. So first of all, if we're in five diamonds, anyone that doubled and bid diamonds or anything like that would actually... that This hand does not play well in diamonds because uh, you've just got no entries. You'd lose a heart, two spades, probably a club. But maybe you can make ten tricks. Um, here we have my left-hand opponent... Uh, bid two hearts, three hearts. My right-hand opponent opens. So we've got three opposite 18, which is 21. 19 points missing. So it looks like 12 and 7 or 11 and 8. Um, 13 and 6. So my right-hand opponent's 11 to 13. My left-hand opponent's 6 to 8, most likely. It looks like my righty's got ace, king, queen of hearts. And probably six hearts. Hearts might be 5-5, five, five, but it's pretty weird for my lefty just to bid one heart, two heart on that. Um, so 
they've got a 10 card fit so I'm not exactly sure who's got the extra anyway Ooh, so Jack of Hearts to the Ace. Might be that lefty's led from King Jack Ten of Hearts. It's hard to read the heart position. Okay. If diamonds break... So I'm thinking of club to the Ace, club up. I think that's a decent chance. Um, but basically I... Can't get to my hand to draw the last trump. So maybe I play like a spade to the jack. And then ace of clubs club. <sighs> maybe I lead the queen of clubs. Okay, so maybe I lead the queen of clubs. And if lefty's got the king of clubs, I can actually draw trumps. Whereas if I play club to the ace club, they rise with the king and I can't draw that last trump. So I've always got a club loser, but... Okay, do I duck the spade? I, they, they can always just switch to a diamond. So I think I just win that. Cash the ace of clubs. Please show me the eight. No. Okay, so... I don't know if lefty's got 10 eight third or... Um, 10 doubleton. Uh, okay, it didn't get roughed, uh, so I need to play my right hand opponent to have the club, and they do. Ah, that was a nervous 10 tricks, I really didn't think I was going to get there. Um, but four clubs making on the nose there. 80%. Uh, some people in four diamonds made it. Uh, some people got to five diamonds doubled. Some people made 11 tricks. So, um, heart lead, they won. They trumped. They played a club to the ace and a club back, and it gets ducked. All right. So I just thought, but I didn't consider the option that maybe they duck the second club, because here my right-hand opponent can win and just lock me on the table. Um, but, yeah, if you know that they... If you consider them ducking, then uh, that'll get you an extra trick. So I didn't think about the missed defense option, but like they're always stuck um, having to give me an entry back because it's such a friendly layout. Tricky, double three hearts works well when partner rebids clubs. Is there anything to be afraid of? Well, the second double, then four diamonds seem to be allowed to play there, whereas one double and four diamonds gets raised despite five being described as. 17 to 25. Well, I don't really want to defend three hearts doubled and they might leave it in. Uh, like if my partner leaves it in, I'm not too worried. Like, we probably have four tricks um, in our hand and our partner won't pass with just a, like no defensive tricks. Um, so I, I think, uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I think it's double and double. Uh, lots of people just doubled and passed three hearts, I guess. Um, and three hearts does make on this hand. Is it cold? So, they have two diamond losers. A club loser is three. They've got... Yeah, so East did have five hearts from King Jack 10. Um, and the spade ace is on side. And they've got plenty of entries. So, yep, they can make that. Uh, but 80%, currently in rank number 3 with 83%. Um, but yeah, going, going pretty well. Moving on to hand number 5. Here, pass a diamond. Alright, so I've got a 2 club overcall. It's really annoying to put the uh, spades on the shelf. Yeah, I've got a spade fit. My partner's got a 7 count. I can't make a takeout double because of my doubleton heart. Passing seems odd. Uh, we get the Queen of Spades lead from 
person who didn't open it might be a singleton but it might be from like queen jack so here we've got two diamond losers a heart loser is three if it's singleton queen my right hand opponent's got jack nine eight and i still have two spade losers anyway so let's hope that lefty's from like from length there so we'll just win and draw trumps No, no Trump losers, so that's going well. Okay, they're 3-3. They're three, three. Okay, that spades broke. This hand's being uh, very generous so far. Um, and they're going to cash their two diamonds now. And we make uh, 10 tricks. Two clubs plus two, probably pretty flat. 53%. Some people did get two three spades. They chose a double. Yeah, I, I really dislike the double, like, um, because what are you going to do if partner bids hearts? You have to bid three club, uh, two clubs. Um, here, partner bids spades with their four four in the majors, which works really well. Um, they probably got a good enough hand that they're thinking of competing. If it goes like one spade, they might be able to bid two hearts or something like that. So, uh, a few people in spades there. Anyway. Uh, glory to all the brave players that dared to double and hence found spades. <laughs> brave isn't the adjective I'd use. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I will happily take my 53%. Running at 77. Um, here I wanted to... Uh, bring up a new thing of uh, did you know a little bit about bridge history so i was over at the world championships for the very first world mixed teams championship and at the end of the event they actually gave it an official name and it is now called the wuhan cup um, because wuhan was uh where it was first played and uh that the pronunciation that uh, we prefer is wuhan really emphasizing the wu in uh, Wuhan um, so that's what I think the uh, name should be but I was looking back at the names of the other events so the open is called the Bermuda Bowl which was also the very first place w where it was played back in 1950 and the Venice Cup is the women's which was um, also named after that but the seniors is called the Diorsi uh, Cup or trophy and that's from the president of the WBF at the time who um, gave the trophy uh, Ernesto Diorsi um, so three of them are named after the inaugural place but the seniors is actually named after the person who uh, provided the uh, trophy there a um, little bit of bridge history or knowledge there for you but uh, we'll move on to board number six here we've got 17 highs 10 five card heart so I think this hand's too good for a no trump so I'll open a heart Probably rebid two no trumps. And we get to three no trumps. Okay, and partner's got 12 highs, so everyone realistically is getting to uh, getting to three no trumps. And we've got three hearts, two clubs is five. Uh, a diamond is six. I can build two spade tricks, but my entries to the north hand are limited. I could see if hearts break three, three. I could see if the club finesse works. I could build an extra diamond trick. I could see if the queen of clubs drops doubleton. I don't know if my left hand opponent's led from short club, 10, 9, 8, fourth club, queen, 10, 9, 8. Uh, all of those are options. But... Uh, Ideally, I'd want to lay low spade to the jack spade back up, but the entries to the north end are limited, so I think I'm just going to win the first one with the king of clubs and lead the jack of spades. Uh, 
Still don't know whether I want to finesse the club, play for the club to drop, things like that. But uh, we'll start with the Jack of Spades. Okay, so we've set up two spade tricks. All right, so that's solved my dilemma there. So it looks like uh, East had Queen Doubleton Club. And this is kind of a fault with the uh, with Gib, in the sense, uh, Argyne, because I'm playing Thunbridge. Like, they see the position is Queen Doubleton opposite 10, 9, 4. They know the position, and they know that their Queen doesn't legitimately get the trick. But they don't understand that I don't have the same information they do. So they don't realize some of the time they will actually score the uh, Queen of Clubs there. Anyway, uh, looks like I want to set up hearts at this stage. So I've got an extra spade winner to ditch a diamond. So let's try and see what's happening in hearts. So it looks like hearts are 3-3 three, three or 4-2. Okay, it looks like they're 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Uh, Alright, so, um, I get two discards for like a spade and a diamond, so I want to try and squeeze someone, um, I want to play king queen of spades, see what's happening in spades, I know my left hand opponent's got clubs. So if my left hand opponent's got the fourth spade in the fourth club, I can squeeze them. Or if I've got the king of diamonds and the uh, long club, I can squeeze them as well. So I have to work out which one I want to try and squeeze them with. So we'll catch the king, queen of spades. Okay, so they don't have the spade. So I want to see if they've got the ace of diamonds. So diamond to the ace. And then we'll play a heart ditching a spade. And then another heart and see if we get them. Yep. Looks like we squeezed them in diamonds and clubs. So cash jack of clubs and my last club's good. 12 tricks. Okay, 97%. Lots of people only made 11 tricks there. Uh, East got me. Set up West for a club diamond squeeze, but when East didn't switch to a diamond, went in with the spade ace. I played West for the diamond jack, not the king. Me too. I found it. The queen of clubs from East was kind, and I just kept the queen of diamonds in dummy to see what happened. Okay, so they tried... Tr Some people tried transferring the menace, um, which if we... Alright, so... Ten of clubs, spade, in with the queen of clubs, which marks that position. We cash that. Uh, spade, spade. So at this stage, what I could actually do is you could lead the queen of diamonds playing your right-hand opponent. To, like, if you swapped the diamond honors, so that east has the king and lefty has the jack, it goes queen, king, ace, small. And now lefty has to hold the jack of diamonds and guard the clubs. Um, so you can actually transfer, like try and squeeze them out of the jack of diamonds or the king. I luckily didn't even consider that. Um, so the main reasoning they had there is righty continued with the club rather than trying to switch to the diamond. And if righty's got the king of diamonds, they would never switch to the king, it seems. But if they've got the jack, they might. So they had some reason for trying to do it, um, but I didn't even consider that. I was just trying to spot the squeeze and uh, scored 97% and back up above 80%. So there's going fantastic. Two boards to play. And we got a 13 count with both majors. We'll start with a spade. And two clubs pass past to me. You don't need any extra points to reopen with a double here. If you've just got a shortage, you just go for it because partner might have a whole stack of clubs and um, wanting to convert it into penalties. Singleton Queen means that's less likely. I also see lots of people just bid two hearts, which is missing out on the opportunity of finding partner with a whole string of clubs. Redouble two diamonds. That's more than enough for me. Let's hope we get out of this undoubled. 
And we buy it into diamonds. Okay, so partner's got uh, five diamonds, uh, nine of clubs. Okay, redouble. This bid shows a reserve of points at least 14 points and at least six clubs. So we have two spade losers, we have a heart loser, we have at least uh, two or three diamond losers. And I have to make sure about something. Don't lose too much in clubs. Okay, King of Diamonds shift. All right, so that's trying to kill the dummy. If I win the Ace of Diamonds, I think I might duck the first diamond. That looks like it's Singleton King. And we'll win the uh, Queen here. I think Righty would have continued on diamonds uh, if they had like King Queen Jack. So we'll play a diamond up, yeah, and they split. Singleton King, yeah. Right. And see what's happened. Okay, so hearts are four three. Uh, so we'll play another one. Okay, uh, Lefty can trump here. Uh, I may as well throw my spade loser away. And they draw the last trump. Wow, okay. Um, club, club. Uh, okay, so... Um, my righty's got... I wish I'd counted more. Um, <clears throat> uh, if I'd counted more, I'd know whether uh, lefty's got uh, two clubs left or one club left. Like, If I exit with a low club here and my right-hand opponent can exit a spade, uh, then... Um, that's bad news. Uh, so what were their discards? I really did, I, I needed to pay more attention. Um, because if my right hand opponent's only got clubs left, I can exit the 10 of clubs and I'll go 10 small, small uh, jack and then they can lead the club back and I can finesse the eight on the way back. And I've got the last couple of tricks. If my right hand opponent has one, uh, so like one spade left, then uh, I've got some issues there. So they've got four hearts and one diamond is five. Uh, I think they had six clubs. I don't think I saw them discard a spade, so I think they've still got another spade left. So I reckon their cards are like Jack. X of clubs and the spades. I'll go the king, but this is really me not uh, counting enough there. Oh, eight of clubs is good news. So uh, it means that my seven's high anyway. Yeah, so he had another spade. And seven tricks for down one. 71%. So uh, some people held two clubs to just making, some let it make nine. Some people got to two spades here by reopening with, by coming back in with two hearts. If you're gonna bid again, it's a takeout double. You've got all the other suits available. Um, if partners got hearts, they can bid hearts here. Um, so down one there. Um, on this deal, we can make one diamond. They, what can they make in two clubs? So uh, they've got no spade losers if they can get there. They've got three heart losers. Three hearts, a diamond. They can't get to the dummy. So you can just like lead a heart. Like you can get, you can probably beat three clubs. You can get three hearts, a diamond is four. Club position means that you can get Maybe, well, it feels like you really should be able to beat two clubs. 
So did anyone actually beat two clubs on this hand? Two clubs, making seven. Yeah, two people did. One person pushed them up to three clubs. Ah, oh, they just passed the south hand. All right, so how did other people do it? Spade lead and they ducked it. Yeah. It's a good start. They won. Exited a spade. Ace of hearts, heart. They overtook their partner's heart to keep cashing hearts. Oh, they didn't cash the nine of hearts there. I, I think they could have beaten it too on that. Oh, no, that, they can always trump in there. So spade lead, your partner roughs. And now, uh, yeah, nice. Cool. All right. So that, that was the way to actually do it. But I am very happy with my 71% uh, in two diamonds. Should have paid more attention. But, uh, yeah. Final board. We've got a flat 10 count. Pass, pass a diamond. No bid from me. Heart, two diamonds pass. Two no trumps. Three hearts. This auction is going great for me. <laughs> like, uh, three no trumps. There's no way it, like... Yeah. Right. Four diamonds. <laughs> Like here I just doubled out of principle. They they didn't want to be playing uh, three no trumps unless three hearts showed extras. Uh, between 13 and 16 points. Oh, it was a forcing bid. But it looks like uh, they had an invitational auction. Diamonds weren't breaking for them. Um, so smack that. Now they've run to four diamonds. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm doubling four diamonds. All right. So it looks like the queen of clubs lead from me. Don't want to lead spades. All right, so hearts are four, triple, three. Heart to the nine. So queen of clubs, small ace, ten. So it looks like east probably has six diamonds, two spades, two clubs, and three hearts. Yeah, they, they didn't stick in the eight of diamonds, which I was worried they would for so when I double them to work out why. Oh, I could have just put in the ten. That would, like, I don't know why I'd groven them there. My partner really switched a heart away from the queen there. Anyway, uh, we can cash the ace of spades. And then they've just got the rest of the tricks there. 11%. So three no... Uh, most people beat three no trumps a trick. Club lead and diamond to the ace. So yeah, you can just split with the diamond. Don't know why I didn't do that myself. Um, Spade up. They could have flown ace and played queen of clubs, jack of clubs. And they would have got four clubs, a spade. It's five. That's it. Okay, and now... You got the uh, rest of the tricks there. Anyway, um, doubling three no. It was cold off. Uh, they ran to four diamonds. Usually people don't don't run. So I wasn't too concerned about them running. Um, but four diamonds is cold. Uh, losing one spade, one diamond, one club. I gave them a chance to play for an extra trick. They refused my great gift. Um, but yeah, just 11% there. Should you unblock at trick one? I think it clarifies it for partner. I unblocked club at trick one. Had a look at some tables who ducked the spade in theory, have just let it out, but got rewarded with minus two after a misplay by the robots. Uh, so should you uh, unblock the club? So low club, king, 
Like, your partner has to have something. So whether they lead low from 10, 10 fifth or something, I think you probably should unblock it with the queen and then just play the jack and um, go from that. And then, you, yeah. The robots can get three diamonds. A club is four. Uh, four hearts is eight. And a spade up is nine if you duck the spade. So you have to take the ace of spades. If you duck the spade, they can just play, get three, four. Yeah, so they've got nine tricks if you duck the spade. Um, but yeah, anyway, finished with 71% in seventh spot. Um, that final board cost me when uh, they ran to four diamonds. But the uh, three no was going down. So, you know, could have worked. Uh, I didn't think that they would really run that often. Um, especially to diamonds when I had four of them. Ah, but uh, yeah, overall, really, really interesting weekly free to uh, weekly uh, Funbridge tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, lots of interesting hands there. Finished in seventh spot with 71%. Well done to Goma Pile with 85%. Shaman with 84%. And in the Peter moment, rounding out the top three with 79%. So some fantastic scores there. Really, really interesting hands with uh, tricky choices. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.